Hi, I'm Jordan from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a Telegram chatbot by using ManyChat. I will explain how we can automatically reply to certain words or phrases inside Telegram, how we can send the chat to a human when your chatbot does not understand a word or does not understand a phrase, and how we can ask specific information about the user and store that inside ManyChat. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to go to ManyChat. So you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC, and this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And if you don't have an account yet, you just can click on get started free. And then here you can select Telegram, and then you need to follow the steps. This will bring you eventually to Telegram. Then you need to confirm it. Then you will go back. Then they will ask an email confirmation. Then you need to confirm your email and then you can set up your ManyChat account. And while you do that, they also ask whether you want the ManyChat inbox or whether you want the ManyChat automation. And you need to choose for the ManyChat automation. So just in case when that's happening to you. I already have a ManyChat account, so I'm already signed in. And now we'll create first our Telegram chatbot then we will connect ManyChat to our Telegram chatbot and then we will create our flows. So now I am in ManyChat and then I am in the settings and then I selected Telegram. And then here you can click on connect. And what we want to do is we want to create a new bot. So we can just click on create new bot and then you have here like the three steps that you need to do. So what we need to do now is we need to go over to Telegram and then we need to have a talk with the bot father. So you can just search for bot father here, click on it, and then press start. And then he will ask what you want to do. And we want to create a new bot. So you can just click on new bot here, or you can type in slash new bot. So how are we going to call it? We will call it the Chatomize test many chat bot it's pretty long but i hope this isn't taken yet by anyone else we also need to choose a username for the bot and it must always end with bot so i would just copy this paste it and that is done and now we get a token an api token so we can just click on it and then it will be copied to your clipboard then we go back to manychat and we'll just enter the token right here and click on connect. So now our Chatomize test ManyChat bot is connected and we connected our Telegram bot with ManyChat and now we can create the flows for our bot. So we will just skip this for now and now we are back inside ManyChat and then I will go to automation and then here you automatically get a few Telegram flows. We will go further in those in the rest of the tutorial, but first start with creating a flow where we automatically reply to a certain word. So we can just click on new flow here, start from scratch, and we will just call this course. So let's say we have a course called the lead generation system. And when somebody says course, we automatically want to reply with some information about the lead generation system. So what we can do is we can add a trigger, Choose for Telegram and then choose for the Telegram keyword. And then we want to reply if a message contains course. So what you can do is we can click on the keyword here and just type in course and click on create. And now every time a message contains course, we automatically reply to it. So for example, if someone says course, we reply to it. But also if someone says, I want your course, then we also reply to it. So what we then do is we can choose the first step. So we'll choose for Telegram and then we can send them a message about our course. So I will just say my course is called the lead generation system, generation system where you can learn how to automatically generate leads for your business. If you want to sign up, for my course or want more information, please click the button below. And then we can add a nice icon, so we do down. 
and then we'll add a button with more information and we will open the website this will just go to my website lead generation system and then we can click on publish and I actually do have a course called the lead generation system where I teach you how you can use ManyChat to automatically generate leads for your business. So if you haven't checked that out, just go to chatterminds.com slash lead generation system and be sure to check it out. I will also add the link in the description. So when we have published this flow, we can just go to Telegram and then we need to click on this button right here, this link. Click on start and then we can just type course and then it says my course is called the lead generation system where you can learn how you can automatically generate leads just click the button below so then you click on more information click on open and now it's opening up in my other browser because I'm currently in Firefox and this is Chrome but it is going to the right address so in this case just going to chatomize.com slash lead generation system and then it is working and that is how it goes when we want to automatically reply to certain words or phrases in telegram and if you just want to reply to more words with more flows you can just duplicate this process just create more flows create more keyword triggers and just create more auto replies to certain words the next thing that i'm going to show you is how we can reply when no specific keyword in ManyChat is triggered. And this is called the default reply. So in ManyChat, the default reply will show up when no other keyword or is triggered by ManyChat itself. So now we need to go back to ManyChat and then click on settings, click on Telegram, and then you have the Telegram default reply. And this is the message that will show up when someone is saying something that is not triggering any keyword. So we can just click on the starting step, click on this, click on every time, because we want to trigger this every time the chatbot does not understand a question or a certain phrase. And then we want to activate it. And now it is activated. So every time a user is saying something that your chatbot does not understand, this flow will be triggered. And then we can just say, sorry, but I do not understand what you're saying. Do you want to talk to a human? And then we can just add a button with yes, please. And then what we can do is add another message. And then we say, all right, I will bring you into contact with a human please give me a minute and then we can take the next step click on action add an action and then we can assign the conversation and then we can choose a team member inside your ManyChat account I'm currently the only team member so I just click on myself and also but you need a pro account for this so I always recommend upgrading ManyChat to Pro. It's only like $15 a month. It's not much and it will bring you like with way more features that you want to use. So what you can do is you can also add the notify admin, but again, you need a pro account for that. And then you can also get an automatic email when this is triggered. So we can just hit publish now. And now it is working. So when I go back to Telegram, and I say something weird, so uh, what are your opening times, for example? Then says, sorry, but I do not understand what you're saying. Do you want to talk to a human? Then I say, yes, please. And all right, I will bring you into contact with a human. Please give me a minute. And then when you go to the live chat, then here you will see the complete conversation. And then as a human, you can reply to this conversation. So then you can say, all right, Joran here, how can I help you? And then click on send to Telegram. And then you can reply back with, I want to know your opening times. And then again, here in the live chat, uh, you will see it. And then you can just solve the problem 
that your customer or your user is having. So I'll just type in now close and then we can send, uh, send and close. And this will mean that we will send the message and automatically close this. And then what we also need to do is click on this part and then the chatbot is activated again. So now if I type in, for example, again, the course, then the chatbot is activated again and replies to this keyword. Another thing that I can show you is how we can set up our welcome message in ManyChat. So if someone didn't talk with your chatbot in Telegram before, they can click on the start button like we did before. But because we didn't set up a welcome message, nothing happens. So we can set up a welcome message so then when somebody clicks on the start button, there actually automatically comes a message. So if we go back to settings, choose for Telegram, and choose for the Telegram welcome message. We first need to select the starting step and you also only need to activate it. And then you can just say, what do you want to do? And then we can just say, get your course. For example, really simple. And when this button is pressed, we want to start the flow we created before. Oh, there's a typo in here. So I just get your course. And then we will start another flow, and this will be the flow we created before. So this will be the, uh, the course flow, select this flow, hit publish. And we can test this out in Telegram. So what we can do is we can just remove this chat, delete the chat, click on delete. We go back to the bot father, click on it again, and then here is the start button. And when we click on the start button, it says, what do you want to do? Then we can click on get your course. And then we say microscope, the lead generation system, and etc. The last thing that I want to show you is how we can ask specific information to the user, such as their email address. And this is actually a pro feature inside ManyChat. So I will go to my pro account, my own Chatomize account, and I will show you how we can set this up. But again, you need the pro version of ManyChat for this. So if I go back to ManyChat, I will just choose my Chatomize account and I go to automation and I will create a new flow. And I will call this flow the ebook test. Click on create. Then we can add the trigger. So I'll add the trigger like we did before. So I will just choose Telegram, choose the Telegram keyword. And then we say if the message contains ebook YouTube, because I already have an ebook flow inside my chatbot so I don't want that to interfere with this flow for this video so I would just call it ebook YouTube and then we can click on create and what we then do is we select the telegram and then we say what is your email address and actually we want to use the user input element for this so we'll just copy this click user input paste it here remove this and that will be it. So we can ask what is your email address then we can reply with an email because we want that the user replies with an email and then ManyChat automatically checks whether the provided email, the, the email that the user gave in is actually an email. So ManyChat automatically checks that for you. So for example when you ask like what is your email and they reply with a phone number then ManyChat will say like this is not an email just give me an email like something like that and you can actually set up that message if you like scroll down and then it will say like please enter a correct email address uh, and this is an example so that's basically it and when they provide an email address then we can say something like okay here or okay just click the button below to get my ebook then we can just add a button with a book icon, get the ebook, and then we'll just go to a website. We'll just make it pretty simple, like chatomize.com. So then we can just click on publish. And this is also a really nice feature. We can actually preview the flow inside ManyChat. So you can just click on preview in ManyChat, and then we can just open Telegram, open the link. And then here it says, what is your email address? And again, I will show you when I just type nonsense, I don't type an email address here. And then it says, please enter a correct 
email address. And as you can see here, there's also a skip button. So if you don't want the skip button, and generally you don't want the skip button, what you can do is just go to this, scroll down, and remove this here, and then the skip button is gone. So we can just preview again, then says, what is your email address? And then if we type in nonsense, like then the skip button is gone. So you don't want that skip button. Then we'll just type in a normal email address, and then that email address is actually saved in ManyChat. And you can also look that up. So for example, if you go to contacts, then you can filter on email, and then you can filter on info at chatamize.com, and then you will see all the contacts that have the email info at chatamize.com. And that's how you can create a simple Telegram chatbot by using ManyChat. There's only one thing I need to add, and it's pretty important for some of you. Currently, it is not possible to create a Telegram chatbot for Telegram groups with ManyChat. Like the Telegram chatbot created with ManyChat will just not work inside a Telegram group. And if you want to create a chatbot for your Telegram group, I highly recommend using Xenio. And I already created a video on how you can create a Telegram chatbot by using Xenio. And I will also add the link in the description and the link will also be like here or here. And you can just click on it and then I will show you how you can create a chatbot by using Xenio for Telegram. But that's it. That's how you create a Telegram chatbot by using ManyChat. If you have any questions on using ManyChat or on how you can create a Telegram chatbot, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.